This is the best way to play defense in Madden 24 right now, and it is going to be out of the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. We're going to be talking today about the dollar 3-2. We're going to show you two different defenses that you can use regardless of what formation you are playing. I believe this is the best foundationally foundational way to be playing defense right now. If you want to get an updated version of what we're doing out of dollar and really what we're doing entirely um, defensively right now, join the Patreon. We update all the eBooks, everything to keep you on top of stuff. If you're not a member, it's only 10 bucks and it will get you access to everything. Super in-depth breakdowns over there trying to teach you guys how to be better Madden players, whether it be offensively or defensively, you get everything for just $10. So if you're not a member yet, join. Uh, the link is going to be down in the description below. So what are we doing defensively to get stops? Arguably, this is the most offensive Madden I've ever seen. It's actually more offensive than uh, Madden 22 was. We thought that was the most offensive Madden in history. I would argue because of RPOs, and because of the way the sheds work and because of the way blitzes work right now, it really limits some of the things you can do defensively uh, to get stops. So this defense I'm about to show you is what I think is the most bang for your buck defensively, and it is the dollar defense. Now, another thing that is actually super, um, I don't know if it was as effective in Madden 22. It was effective, but it's really effective now is audibly in formation to formation to formation. So the defense I'm going to show you is not formation dependent. It is hash mark dependent. All right. So when dollar, we're going to have our flats on 30 and our curl flats on five. With the hook curls, you can have them on default, zero, five, 10, 15, whatever you think works best for what routes they're using in the middle of the field. But in general, I like to start on default and then kind of adjust those as the game goes on. And we're going to be doing all of this out of the DB Fire 2. Now, the setup that is really important that I'm going to show you, you're going to come out and you're going to instantly pinch your defense and you're going to always back off the corner that is on the wide side or uh, the short side of the field. So we backed off the corner on the left-hand side. That's going to allow his cloud flat zone uh, to be able to get back and get good depth to take away corner routes. Also, you want to be base aligned as well. I do think that is helpful uh, for dollar because the formation is symmetrical so we can structure the coverage we have the tools within dollar to be able to structure the coverage behind it to handle any formation your opponent's going to throw away so the base uh blitz that i like to utilize uh out of dollar is we're going to take that soft squad on the left hand side and we're going to put him on a deep half then we're going to purple both of our safeties here uh or i'm sorry not both of our safeties we're going to purple one of our safeties and then we're going to roll the coverage like so. So you see, this is the base kind of send five coverage that I like to use. The reason we like this is because it looks like Mabel coverage to the naked eye. But with this crow flat coming from the safeties, if they try to throw it to the flat, he actually shoots down a lot better than he has in years past. And he's able to stop that route. If you want to absolutely blanket any kind of quick throw flat, then what you want to do is you want to put your curl flats on zero and they will completely blanket the, the route. So again, this, this deep half purple combination on the user side is, is really effective. And then you want to always, in my opinion, defensively this year, you always want to use her the short side of the field, at least if you are playing compression. If you're playing a spread set like trips tight in, then maybe not. But in general, I really like to use her the compression side because I feel like that's where my user is most helpful and honestly that's where zones are the worst ironically um, is to the short side against compression so again the basic uh, concept here is this so you might think what about a seam streak so let's use a seam streak here we're going to kind of use with that but if I just throw that if I try to throw that seam that deep half is kind of biting inward and he'll be able to take that away and then my my user is going to lurk the crosser so that's kind of the base blitz concept out of this we're going to send five we're going to typically get one free if they don't uh if they don't block a running back or a tight end and then if we want to send six i'll show you a really fun little send six you're going to basically just do the deep half and the purples on both sides now what's really important here is if you're going to send six you in my opinion um you really want to go ahead and back off this deep half on the wide side of the field otherwise he will get seam streaked to death now, another little tip that you can have that I'll give you is we could actually go ahead and we could leave this flat zone that he's on 
because when you press, even if they're dropped back at 30 yards, they're still not going to, their momentum is not going to be able to get back far enough. So you could go with something like that. Um, or another thing you could do is you could deep half here and then you could man up that slot receiver and now user. But the basic thing we want to get accomplished here is we just, we just want to uh, try to essentially take away the, the quick throws to the flats and force them to throw the ball in the middle of the field. And again, you see those purples will bite down significantly. I don't recommend sending six all the time. I'm just saying when you send six, you get pressure um, out of dollar if they're blocking a running back and if you're baseline pressed. Uh, and I like to pinch my defense out of dollar for a lot of reasons, but we'll leave it at just the fact that it kind of cleans up the blitz angles for you. The last little portion of this is the coverage aspect. So what we're going to do from a coverage aspect is we are just going to blitz our user. We're going to stand right over the center just like this. And then we already backed off that, that, that uh, corner on the left. So now we're going to put both nickel corners or slot corners on purples. And then on the right-hand side, really important, we are going to outside quarter and inside quarter that right side of the screen. What this is going to do is because Madden is based off of a grid system, if they try to run a streak in a corner route to the wide side, they're not going to be able to do that. Another very popular route combination is the slant post concept with maybe a post over the top. If you watch how this play works, I'm going to lurk the slant here, and then I'm going to pass him off. And you see how that cur curl flat will do a really good job. And then we're able to take away one of the most popular route combinations in the entire game. This defense will stop a lot of what people like to do. And the one last thing I would say with this is – you can make minor adjustments to this, but as a basic defensive system, I think this is the best way to play defense right now. And I honestly actually think we're kind of moving in the direction where you should be playing coverage, 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 blitz, jab, 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 right hook, send three, send three, send three, send five, send three, send three, send three, send six. That basic formula will really, I think, help you uh, get a lot of stops in this game. And the reason why is because we're only Mabel in the short side. We're not Mabel in the wide side. That is a super important distinction. Okay, that is a super important distinction. Now, uh, I'll show you some other cool stuff here in just a second, what we can do with send four at a dollar. But dollar is good because of the fact that, A, it's symmetrical. B, it gives you the best send five in the game. And C, you can do a lot of different things with these slot corners. So one of the other things I wanted to show you is, um, if, is what we can do here on the wide side. So we can Mabel this left-hand side. That's the flat. And then we have this basic kind of look right here. And what we'll do is we'll actually put this linebacker on a purple zone. And now we're still Mabeling the wide side. So our user is going to lurk, practically speaking, like a curl route, hook curl. But now when you send four, sometimes the send four out of dollar actually comes in. So you have a pressure plan where we're sending three, we're sending four, we're sending five, we're sending six. But then we also have different types of covered shells uh, that we can do behind it. So with that in mind, I think this makes Dollar truly the best defense in the game right now. If you want to get in my entire updated Dollar stuff, everything that I'm doing out of Dollar, join the Patreon today. It's only $10. It gives you everything that I run, why I run it, uh, the best way to run it, everything you need uh, to be successful. Mad 24, I think, is the most mad offensive Madden I've ever played. And so having um, a bend but don't break defense like what we're showing you here is really the key uh, to playing good defense. And it is in a game where it's more offensive than it's ever been. I will say it's actually kind of harder, in my opinion, to score in the red zone 